Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user TJ Cat. He's driving the Pershing on a standard battle on Winter Himmelsdorf. Pershing is a tier 8 medium tank for the Americans. A pretty middle of the road medium tank as well. Not fantastic, not terrible. TJ really should pay attention to where he's driving though as he runs that uh, AMX off the road a little bit and then proceeds to run the Cromwell a little bit off the road as well. But anyway, no, oh, no, CDC decided to come back to be a dick because uh, obviously one person accidentally ramming into somebody is more than enough cause to be a complete and utter tool. Anyway, as we get on into this replay, team going to the hill. Looks like they are up there early, but it also looks like there are a lot of heavy tanks pushing along the number 8 line very, very early on. Just having one last look at that CDC. It disappears over the ridge. There's a lot of heavy tanks making a very early push up the 8 line, and if people don't react to this and do something about it very, very soon, this could end up being very, very bad indeed. Trying to get a shot on this KV-5, trying to shoot that big radio t uh, radio operator's turret in the front, but not able to find a shot on that. You can also get a shot through the commander's hatch at the top if you're able to pick that out as well. That one hit the very edge, so a little bit unfortunate that that one bounced. Looks like the charge has been a little bit stalled. This KV-5 looks like he's been the linchpin of trying to push through. Everybody's just stalling a little bit behind him uh, as he loses momentum against this Tiger 2. KV-5 can find it fairly difficult to penetrate the armor of a Tiger 2 as it gets uh, a little bit low penetration on its gun. As I was saying earlier, the Pershing doesn't excel fantastically at any particular task. It has a decent enough cannon for tier 8. As you see, 190 pen, average damage of 240. So the pen is slightly on the low side. Damage is okay. But this tank is nicely maneuverable, nicely agile. Its armor isn't fantastic, but it has a decent hit point pool. And just the f because the thing is such an all-round good tank, you can generally use it to good effect. Moving in now, going to try and take some of these heavies by surprise. T-34, looks like he's tunnel visioning a little bit. Gets a good shot through the front, takes one in return. And the T-34 takes so long to reload that he can probably get another shot on him as he backs off. Gets a fantastic shot through the road wheel there. Takes that out, takes out his track and does some damage as well. That is the Holy Trinity. That's exactly what you want. Trying to lure one of these heavy tanks into firing. You can see here, TJ Cat. Backs off just a little bit, sees that the IS-3 is blocking the shot of the T-34, so pokes himself out to have that. That's a nice little piece of a uh, situational play there. Like I said, the IS-3 was blocking the shot of the T-34, so as he came forward, TJ just got his shot and got some damage. Tries to fire at the T-34, not quite able to do anything at all. I think the IS is firing high explosive ammunition, as he did a little bit of damage to the side of that IS-3. You find that a little bit strange. And a heavy tank like that would fire high explosive ammunition, but you know what they say, it does more damage. So why not fire it? Finds the Yag Panther 2, desperately trying to get back to base to defend. Gets a great shot through his rear. Just a little bit of damage as he moves on. Every little bit of damage will indeed help. Does see an IS moving up against this Yag Panther 2 here. He's on the other side of the buildings. There was an OI to the left. So just aiming his gun there. Finds the OI, takes him out. Nice little kill on the move here. Now finds the IS. He's taken out the Yag Panther 2. TJ still hasn't reloaded. There we go. Gets the reload. Two very quick kills. Now this game is looking a little bit better in the Allies' favour. Not winning fantastically at 10 kills to 9. The push up the number 8 line. Still working out for the enemy team. The Allies have securely got the hill. I think the problem is they've left too many tanks on the hill for too long. And they're not really doing anything up there. Haven't been able to capitalise on it. I think TJ thinking about having a shot at this Tiger 2 here. He hasn't been spotted out, so he's got a little bit of time to take his shot. That one does not go through. Tiger 2 has some very, very tough armour to penetrate. I'm going to try and get a sly little shot here between the wreck of this tank here and the Tiger 2. That one went through for some damage. Like I said, using the body of this wreck here to keep himself safe as he hits the Tiger 2 repeatedly. 
Great little bit of positional play here. There's going to be no way the Tiger 2 can fire between the, that turret and the wall to hit TJ. But TJ can easily fire back at the enemy team. It's a nice bit of damage on that T-34 as he makes a transition between the buildings as well. And as you can see, the enemy team is pretty much entirely on the number 8 line. Their very early push not quite working out. And the momentum that they had stalled. And now they're not doing great. Aims just as long as he dares, but that one just goes into the dirt. You two tend to fight that. Shells just seem to magnetise into the ground rather than landing in the target. But really feeling like he didn't have enough time to aim that one fully. You're going to move in on this Chaffee now. I'm not really sure what he's doing. Maybe AFK. He's taking a little bit of damage. No, he's not AFK. He's moving his turret around. Maybe the guy is a bot because he's not driving. A very, very badly programmed bot playing a light tank. Takes him out. Now sees another Tiger 2 down the street there. Not sure if the Tiger 2 realises the TJ is here. Probably realises now. As he bounces a shot. And this game definitely looking a little bit risky right now. Losing 12 kills to 13. Takes a hit from the Tiger 2 and he's got to move. He's got a T-34-2 on the hill. Although it looks like the guy has made... No, he's moving a little bit. I was going to say I think he may have DC'd. But it looks like he's moving a little bit. I don't think he wants to come down off the hill for some reason. He's... That position can be good at firing at unsuspecting enemies, but you don't want to stay there too long. As you see, he's taking damage. I'm pretty sure he was on full health earlier. TJ Cat goes flying past, but finds both of these Tigers here. Definitely spends a little bit longer aiming this time. Gets a great shot on one of those Tigers. Now he's going to have a look for this T-34. He was last spotted out in the field. There he is. His gun is reloaded. He takes a hit, but can he get the kill? He can indeed. It was well worth the risk there as he gets kill number five. Takes out the T-34. T-34-2 still stubbornly wanting to sit on the hill. Maybe he's stuck. Or maybe he's just a very, very bad player. That was a beautiful shot there to take out that Tiger through the windows there. Looks like the T-34-2 is not AFK. and not stuck as he gets a shot on this Tiger 2. It would be a shame if TJ Cat was to die and this one was going to be left in the hands of that T-34-2. I'm not really sure what the guy would do as he seems so stubborn. He does not want to move from that position. This Tiger 2 is kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. If I was him, I'd be trying to head towards the Allied base the enemy base to him to try and maybe start base capture he has got 470 health so he's going to be two shots for TJ Cat to take out whereas TJ is just a one shot for this Tiger I'm going to try and catch him by surprise catches him side on gets a great shot through the side he's able to back off in time as well and this Tiger is charging in and TJ is not quite reloaded can he get the shot he can but that one didn't quite go through luckily the Tiger 2 gets caught on the corpse of his ally as he's backing off more can he get the shot for the kill he can indeed that is kill number seven that is the win and a well deserved one it was as well schooling that Tiger at the end there to pick up the shot that he needed that's three and a half thousand damage seven kills and a well-deserved victory I'm pretty sure if it had been left in the hands of that t-34-2 at the end there that one probably would have been a loss as the guy just did not want to move off the hill so well played by you thank you very much for sending that replay in don't forget guys if you've got yourself a great replay send that into replay at screenreality.com link for that's in the description i've been maxwell this has been a world of tanks replay and i'll catch you guys next time